Governor Moore Healy joined Congressman Richard Neal at Union Station today to announce $108 million in funding to support East West Rail. And 22 News anchor Taylor Knight found out how this funding will one day improve train service right here in Western Massachusetts. Boston may be the hub, but Springfield and Springfield Union Station is certainly the compass rose. $108 million in federal funding with the goal of making East-West Rail a reality. We now have, with this, completed a big part of the vision that we've had for East-West Rail. Worcester to Springfield and Springfield to Worcester. Governor Maura Healey and Congressman Richard Neal announced the funding from the federal government at Union Station in Springfield. The money will go towards several projects to boost commuter rail service across Massachusetts, like adding two daily round trip trains between Boston, Worcester and Springfield. But it will also improve direct connections from central Massachusetts to Connecticut and improve connectivity all the way up through the Pioneer Valley. The trains would leave Union Station and continue south to Hartford, New Haven and New York City. The money will also go towards track improvements that will help decrease the travel time from Boston to Springfield down to about two hours. Both Healy and Neil agree that East West Rail could help the state's economy and help with the housing crisis. I know people can't afford rent. They can't afford down payments. People can't afford to downsize in some areas. This is all part of the larger goal of connecting Boston and Pittsfield by commuter rail. It's been estimated that it could cost more than $5 billion to make that a reality. Right now, MassDOT is doing technical analysis of these improvement projects. CSX owns the tracks, though, so they need to approve everything before work can begin. MassDOT's Rail and Transit Administrator says it will likely be years before we see these projects completed. Working for you in Springfield, Taylor Knight, 22 News.